As usual, Ben and Samir have found themselves a gang of criminals that's way too big, and now they want to make life difficult for them. But, as usual, it kind of looks the other way around. This gang is run by eight gangsters, and each controls their own territory. In order to get to the bosses, Ben and Samir have to infiltrate the organizations. Whenever one of the two is operating undercover, the other is on hand as a police officer to put the gangsters under lock and key. The pair swap every time so they don't get rumbled. So that they can keep in business, Ben and Samir also have to take part in the Illegal Race series which is run for all of the courier drivers. Only the ones who keep ahead in the series get the new jobs. Each of the bosses represents a level which has to be driven in order to get to the next boss. You can only win by beating every boss. The only way to do this is to get their vehicles and weapons. To make others aware of you, you have to use the horn big style. Of course, on all of the patrol cars you can turn on the flashing lights too. The first button press turns on the siren and the lights, a further press will turn the siren off, and one more will turn off the lights. Ben and Samir have a few weapons at their disposal to make their war on crime a little easier. It's also an enormous advantage if you can seize some toys from the criminal fraternity, too. The EMP has a short-term killer effect on everything electronic and will stop an opponent's car. Get a car in your sights and wait until the crosshairs change color. The weapon will now be switched on and you can fire at will. Now test the weapon on the car driving a few meters ahead of you. Very good! The EMP is also a very powerful weapon in criminal hands. A red-colored car on your radar lets you know you are in a direct line of fire to be hit. As you will now see, the status of your EMP is at empty. As with all other weapons, it will now begin to slowly recharge. Just have a little patience and then you can fire again. You can pull up other cars by using the grappling hook, but you can also use it to make your own accelerate like hell. Used well, you can hook yourself from car to car and reach enormous speeds. Now test the grappling hook on the vehicle ahead of you while simultaneously stepping hard on the brakes. Nope, try it again. That was very good. Now try activating the grappling hook to use it for acceleration. Brilliant! Who'd have thought you had it in you? The spike strip will shake off pursuers. If they drive over a strip like that at full speed, they might even flip the car. Placed correctly, an opponent will almost never be able to overtake you. The radar will help you to see if an opponent is at the right distance to have to drive over the spike strip. Okay, here's a criminal coming up for you to test it on. Give it a try. Nope, you're going to have to try that again. Nope, you're going to have to try that again. Nope, you're going to have to try that again. Nope, you're going to have to try that again.
Very good. That was some cool deployment. The oil sprayer is a real gem of a weapon. You can use it to make any opponent go into a spin. Positioned in the right places, opponents can neither brake nor steer and they'll go slip sliding wherever you planned. Try it out. Nice takeoff, huh? That was good. You're a quick learner. Roadblocks can be used in Cobra 11 by both gangsters and the police. As soon as you activate a roadblock, you will see an overview map showing the road network. Now you can look to place the barrier wherever you wish. The more difficult the route, the harder it is to avoid the barrier. Just try it. So let's see if you put it up right. Very well done! Only a protection shield will protect you against weapons. The protection shield surrounds the whole vehicle. Every time the radar flashes red, someone very good! The electronic ramming protection reinforces the vehicle's bodywork. When the protection is fully charged, it will absorb all of a collision's energy. The lower the charge, the more the collision energy will affect the car. Now try it on the opponent in front of you. He doesn't have any protection. Destroy him!